Apple just unveiled the new generation of iPhone. You've surely heard about the innovations like the fancy 48 megapixel camera on the Pro model, upgraded chipsets, and even emergency SOS via satellite. But here's something that went under the radar. Now, for the first time, all US models no longer have the SIM tray. A SIM card is a portable memory chip that holds your phone carrier information, essentially tying your plan to the device. Now, eSIM technology is all digital and used by a number of other smartphone makers. Hartley Charlton, the editor at Mac Rumors, says the move will ease the process of switching devices or mobile carriers. They want a much cleaner setup experience so that you just simply hold your old phone near your new phone and over Bluetooth, that eSIM information just transfers over. It's nice and easy. While most major carriers throughout the world support eSIM, right to repair advocate Kyle Weens raises some concerns. Most folks um, in the US and maybe Europe, you get a SIM card once, you stick it in your phone, you forget about it. Uh, but that's not how the developing world works. Every street vendor sells SIM cards and people swap them around a lot. With infrastructure globally lacking, what is Apple's motivation for making this move right now? When the iPhone is uh, sort of reaching its limits in terms of its feature set, gaining a bit of internal space is very valuable. Although that can't fully take place with the iPhone 14 because it's only in the US that this will have taken place. They could put batteries there, they could put a headphone jack there. What they should do is put a micro SD card there. Even with these growing pains, widespread eSIM adoption in smartphones appears inevitable. Apple is, is sort of dragging the carrier world into the future here. And certainly within the next five years, I think we can see the physical SIM card being almost completely phased out. If you're a jet setter and concerned this could put a damper on connectivity, well, there's a simple solution. Hold off on the upgrade. Anyone buying a phone should really probably be thinking in the in the four to five year time horizon. These things are, are not getting dramatically better every generation.